surface area pyramids and cones. Objective to find surface areas of pyramids and cones. Let's consider this example. The pyramids of Egypt were built thousands of years ago as burial tombs for pharaohs and their relatives. Pyramids have also inspired modern architects. The noted Chinese-American architect I. M. Pei completed the renovation of the Louvre Museum in Paris in 1990. With a new entrance, he designed a huge square glass pyramid. It has a square base of 116 uh, feet on each side. How much did it take to cover the pyramid? How much glass did it take to cover the pyramid? And we will solve this problem in example two. Okay, and now we uh, this lesson now we'll, we'll cover pyramids and cones and their surface areas. First thing we're going to talk about are pyramids. A pyramid is a solid figure that has a polygon for a base and triangles for the sides. We name pyramids by the shape of their bases. Notice that the pyramid has just one base. Take note, for example, also uh, that uh, uh, prisms have two bases that are congruent. In pyramids, there is just one base. Okay, All the other faces of the pyramid are called lateral faces intersect in a point called the vertex and this is the vertex where the lateral faces intersect okay and the sides of our pyramid as mentioned are all triangles okay so the pyramid is named after the shape of its base and its lateral faces are all triangles which intersect at a point called the vertex and this pyramid is called a square pyramid simply because the base of this pyramid is a square. Okay, The pyramid shown at the left is a triangular pyramid because its base is an equilateral triangle. We know this by the hash marks indicating that all sides are congruent of that particular triangle. And if you have a triangular pyramid with an equilateral triangle as its base, all its lateral faces are congruent triangles as well. Okay. Now let's take a look at the net of a square pyramid. Notice that lateral faces are triangles because the base, uh, because the base is a square. The triangles are all congruent, and their altitudes have all the same length. The length of any one of these altitudes is called the slant, slant height of the pyramid. Okay, and let's consider our square pyramid. Okay, and if we take a look at our base, uh, the net of that square pyramid, this is how it's going to look like. And this is the slant height. Okay, and the slant height is also indicated by lowercase. L. We'll find this out later on. Okay, and uh, one way to remember slant height, the reason why it's called slant height is because it slants, basic. Okay, so that is the slant height, which is also perpendicular to the base of our square pyramid. And if we take a look at our pyramid closer, okay, this is how pyramids should look like and this is our triangular pyramid and if you look at our triangular pyramid this is the net of our triangular pyramid and as a triangular pyramid has it has four faces has four vertices and six edges okay and if you take a look at the rectangular pyramid this is the net of our rectangular pyramid okay it has five faces one of this, one of which is the base, which is a rectangle, has five vertices and eight edges. Okay, you want to make it more interesting. Let's take a look at a pentagonal pyramid. Okay, and a pentagonal pyramid has six faces, including a base that is shaped like a pentagon. It has six vertices and ten edges. Okay. So that is a uh, pentagonal pyramid, and those are pyramids. 
So, let's find out how to find the surface area of a pyramid. To find the surface area of a pyramid, all you need to do is find the sum of the areas okay, of its base and all its lateral faces. Okay. So you have now this uh, uh, square pyramid. Okay. We, uh, we know this is a square pyramid because only one uh, measure is given on one side. Okay. The base is a square. Then we use the formula area equals s squared to find the area of the base. Okay. This means that getting the base means finding uh, using the formula area equals s squared. And since the base measures 5 and 1 half inches, we simply substitute 5 and 1 half to s square it to end up with 30 and 1 fourth or 30.25 square inches. That is the area of our base. Okay. Next, our next job is to find the area of the lateral surfaces. Okay. So we use the formula for. Uh, find the area of the lateral surface which is one half base times height because the lateral surface measures or sorry the lateral surface is a triangle so one half base times height is a formula for finding the area of a triangle okay and if you look very closely our base is still five and one half inches and our slant height now is six inches Okay, so uh, you have your triangular side, which is area equals one half base times height. Substitute the value five one one half for our base and slant height, which is all six inches. Multiply all those together, we end up with sixteen and a half or sixteen point five square inches. What is left for us to do now is find uh, simply add the area of the base, which is thirty point two five there at the area of uh, the triangular side which is 14 16.5 uh, multiplied by 4 why do we need to multiply it by 4 because there are four lateral faces whose areas are 16 uh, whose area is 16.5 square inches then we add all of them we end up with the total surface area of our square pyramid as 96.25 square inches okay so let's take a look and go back at the beginning of the lesson and uh, when we talked about the Louvre Museum okay we need to find the surface area of the glass air uh, where the glass is located on the Louvre Museum obviously we will not be looking at the base because uh, there's no glass at the base of the museum so all we need to find are the lateral uh, uh, area or the lateral surfaces and their areas, okay? The sum of the areas. So the Louvre pyramid in the application in the beginning has a slant height of 92 uh, feet. Square base is 116 feet. Find the amount of glass it took to cover the pyramid, okay? So, what we do is, what we do now is, we go back and uh, find the area of the glass, the lateral area of the Louvre Museum Pyramid. We start off with the formula for area, which is one half base times height. Okay, let me get this on for now. There we go. So area. equals one half base times height that is the shape because the shape of the lateral face 
the pyramid is a triangle okay going back to our uh, original problem of the Louvre Museum okay the base is equal to 116 feet and the height or the slant height is equal to 92 feet so we simply substitute the values for base and height this becomes one half times 116 times 92 okay simplifying everything we end up with 5336 square feet and that is the area for one lateral surface since there are four of them we simply get 5336 and multiply it by 4 okay so the total glass to cover the pyramid is 21,344 square feet that's how much glass it took to cover the Louvre Museum pyramid okay our next uh, area of concern now would be circular cones and there are a, a lot of uh, different types of uh, cones but when you talk in our textbook for our own purposes since we are just starting we will assume that we are all we are uh, always talking about a circular cone definition of a, cir a cone is another three-dimensional shape you see cones every day in life such as cones for some ice cream cones or holder cone uh, holder for a cotton candy or some pa uh, paper drinking cups most of the cones that you'll see are called circular cones because the base is a circle okay so just like what we did we will get our cone and we will open it up and look at the net of our cone so the net of a cone shows the regions that make up a cone you can see that the base of our cone is a circle with an area of pi r squared okay if you cut the lateral surface of the sections you can form a parallelogram and this is what you get the base of the parallelogram is half the circumference of the cone because that's half the circumference this is the other half so the base of the parallelogram is simply half the circumference okay Or, since the formula for circumference is 2 pi r, we simply multiply 1 half by 2 pi r, okay? And uh, uh, from what we've learned, 1 half times 2 pi, 1 half times 2 is 1. So, 1 half times 2 pi r is simply pi r, okay? Its height is the slant height of the cone or the letter L. So, in this case, okay, in the pyramid, we call slant height as h in the cone we call slant height as l okay we designate it as l in the pyramid we designate it as the letter h so the area of the lateral surface is one half two pi r times uh, uh, l or pi r l okay because one half times two is one so you simply multiply pi times r times l that's how we came up with pi r l so we can find the total sur surface area of the cone using the formula pi r squared plus pi r l. Where did the pi r squared come from? It comes from the radius of the cone. So the pi r squared comes from the radius right here. Okay. And pi r l comes from this. Okay. So the surface area of a cone is pi r squared plus pi r l okay or i'll make a, a shorter formula for you since the surface area is pi r squared plus pi r l using distributive property the surface area of a cone okay in, in a shorter form is simply pi times r times the quantity r plus l okay both formulas both formulas work so you can use any formula if you wish 
So we're now asked to find the surface area of a circle of pyramids and cones, part two. Uh, continuing where we left off, surface area of a cone is uh, the formula is pi r squared plus pi r l, or uh, to make it a little bit shorter, it's uh, equal to pi r times the quantity r plus l. Let's consider this example, example number three. We want to find the surface area of a circular cone with a slant height of 10 centimeters and a base with a radius of 5 centimeters rounded to the nearest uh, tenth. Okay, And uh, to be able to find the surface area of that particular cone, okay, we start off with the formula of uh, pi times r l. Okay. Pi times R times the quantity R plus L. Okay. So we start off with finding the uh, uh, the radius, and our radius in given is in given here is five centimeters, and our slant height is ten centimeters. Okay. So if we do that, and we write the formula, surface area equals pi r, and the quantity r plus l, where r is 5 centimeters, and the slant height, which is equal to our l, is 10 centimeters. Substitute the values, surface area now, is equal to pi times 5 times the quantity 5 plus 10. Or surface area is equal to 5 pi times 15. Okay? Or surface area is equal to 75 times pi. Okay? And 75 times pi is... 75 pi is 235.1619 or 235.6 square centimeters. Okay? And that is now the surface area of our cone. And uh, after listening to this lesson, you are now required in your notebook, in no more than a page, write or type a summary of what you've learned responding to the objective of the lesson, meaning you need to write down how to find the area of a pyramid and how to find the area of a cone in your own words, okay? And write a question you might want to ask in class about this lesson. Thank you.